the song. Every time I play the song, y'all y'all know it's that time of year. Hi! It's that time of year. And that time of year is our anniversary. I mean, I know it's the new year for everybody. <laughs> but it's our anniversary. Our anniversary is yesterday. Uh, relationship top. What's been the most challenging parts of your marriage? Do you know your moon sign? <laughs> oh, that's another one. Your moon sign. What's the most challenging part? Uh, what has been the most challenging? Let's see. What has been the most challenging, you think, baby? Um, in the beginning, like, removing, you know, not maybe not removing self-desire, but putting our desire before my personal. <laughs> yeah, coming one. In like, Yeah, becoming one. Yeah, becoming one. That's a real thing. Like, and it's like a continuous effort because we're continually changing. But the main thing is acknowledging that we have to become one or that we have yeah. to try to move right foot, left foot, like if you, if coordinated. If you get too far off track, it's, it's further uh, job or challenge to get back on track, too. You can't let too much. You can't resist it so much because then it's like like you said if you resist resist it's just putting you off track and you're yeah. falling deeper and deeper behind yeah but your desire your desire genuinely has to adjust yeah it, it does because if it's only you like oh i'm gonna just do what i want to do i ain't worried about but if, if i have that mindset on anything it's just it's, it'll come it's, back yeah that way. Like, you have to really die to self in a way <clears throat> that's like I said all the time you have to die to self like the hardest part is acknowledging I think that thing that I said in the very beginning that you can't save it for yourself you have to be a hundred percent invested in us in we it cannot be and this is the thing people are like no nah, I gotta have self-care I got to it's not about that self-care comes in the preservation of love like all that stuff comes with it so, but in order to get the maximum benefits out of it, you have to give your maximum effort. It's just that it doesn't work like that. Anything, you can't say, I'm going to do this career. I'm going to, you know, I aspire to this and not give 100% of yourself to that. That's the plan B. That's the, like, it doesn't work like Be that. Be sure to like, share, and, and subscribe. You want a relationship? It's like you got to read the people's actions and listen when they tell you you can't make nobody want something right so that's a losing battle it has to be a mutual you know yeah. like both parties have to be equally invested and that's just the bottom line yeah. you know and when i say equally invested i mean equally to their hundred to your hundred whatever yeah. that looks like it all has to yeah. be in the pot i feel more happy when i make you happy than me like when it, I do something for myself, yeah, it's me like, too. It's very selfish. <laughs> what no matter. Well, it's what not it is. as fulfilling. Yeah, it's not as fulfilling. I like that. Like when I see, yeah, it's like when we do stuff for each other, it just feels mm -hmm. like we accomplished something. Yeah. We did, you know what <clears throat> I mean? Yeah, and half the time it's like if I do something for you, we're we're so one that I benefit from you say that all the time. <laughs> it's like if I do something for you, I I usually win. I get some greatness out of it. Like, oh man, I'll make sure that you get that. But we together, so we both get it. So it's like when you put your person first, it'll keep you first. Right. It's the gift that keeps on giving. So just go on and you know I'm trying, to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. But if it's the wrong person, run. Has there ever been cheating during the marriage? If so, how did you overcome it? Hell. Hell no, no. And thankfully for us, like that's that hasn't been a part of our story. That hasn't, you know, um, been a part of our journey. We know people that it is, and there's no judgment there. Um, but I think that one of the things I always say is like the person that you are being with has to, and and I'm not saying you can't be a moral compass compass to cheat or you know have, fall short or whatever you want to call it but I'm just saying like you know in the beginning I there was things that I was looking for you know in my man um it just as far as like character and how they see themselves and what's important to him and like I listened a lot to how he spoke um about himself and 
past relationships or how other people spoke about him in past relationships or, you know, things like that. And it's like one thing that was continual was that he himself prided himself as a man on being loyal, as a man, as being there's just certain things that have nothing to do with me or his love for me um, that were essential for me to see in him from the beginning, you know, um, and I think women, you know, I, I don't really, I can't say too much in this department because I'm not as well equipped or knowledgeable at this point, um, to give that advice. But what I will say is like, cause I don't think it's anybody's like, I don't know if it's people feel like they're to blame or they didn't do enough or they didn't give, you know, their husband or wife enough. And so they turned or, or whatever the case may be. But I do feel like in the beginning, choosing a partner that, you know, has a certain standard for themselves and, and has a certain way that they perceive themselves and they want to be acknowledged in the world, how, how your person wants to show up in the world plays a big part in, in that, I think, um, you know, Eric prides himself on, like I said, being a man, um, of loyalty, um, and of character. And these are things that he was doing without me. So I think that made already a good foundation for somebody who has discipline and self-control. And I think that's another thing that we don't look for. Um, we don't pay close attention to when we're getting into relationships and stuff is finding somebody who does exhibit self-discipline and knows that that's an important factor into, you know, maintaining a, a healthy relationship. You know what I mean? Um, people don't pay as much attention, but it's like how they are dedicated in their everyday life and things that they commit to and how they're disciplined in their health or certain things play a big part and they tell you a lot about a person. Um, um, so, and I was reading some of that. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. I can't really, like, go too deep in that. Um, because I'm not, like, as knowledgeable. A lot of people, like, have their reasons why and this and that. But I think before you get to that point, addressing, um, you know, making sure that the person that you choose has a certain moral compass and has a certain standard and way that they want to be seen in this world. And, and, and so that's important. I hope I did. I answer that good, babe. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I it think. Is. It's, it's just about I feel like, who you choose. Like, you know, I, look, I don't know. Like, everybody can see it different. I look at it like, if I don't want to mess up one time. Because I, I don't want nothing to ever be wrong. Like, I feel like you sacrifice the the trust. You sacrifice everything. You know what I mean? If if So it's just like, yo, I'm just not even going to entertain that. Because it's not worth, you know. It's not worth this. Like, that's... You know what I mean? But that boils down to your character, too. See? Yeah, it's... Like, okay, I'm going to write all these songs. And then I'm going to put... Like, like me. Like, I'm not about to make myself look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Crazy. You care about, you know, like, who you want to be, how you want to show up in this world. You care about yeah. maintaining that. It's It means something you. to you. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. You. I care about your heart. But I, I definitely feel like... I, I don't I want people to perceive me in the way I want to be perceived and it's like if you my friend for real you're my friend you know what I mean yes. so it's like if you're not my friend if you're not you know something that I really really use and put as a hold as a priority it's like yeah that's one end but then the other side is like like you said for your own character yeah because that energy is like it goes into the board meetings it goes into you know, when, and how you, when you have a life for real and people see that, it's like, man, that's going to double the deal. And that's part of the mindset that I'm talking about. When you're talking to a man, when you are, um, like, vetting a man, if that's what it's called, like, kind of filling them out. And, you know, these are things that you look for before you get even in the picture. And I'm not just talking mm -hmm. about good talking and, and the representative. Yeah. I'm Because 
this stuff was going on, you know, sometimes people's reputations precede them um, negatively or positively sometimes, but all this stuff is to is to be taken into account before you decide you want to, to want your partner more than you want the relationship. You gotta say it again, baby. You want you gotta want your partner more than you want the title of a relationship. A relationship. Like, yes, I, there I you want go. You as opposed to just wanting to have someone and wanting 